Alright, so in the last video we installed Oblivion Script Extender and also the Oblivion Graphics Extender and fully configured all of them. Now what we're going to do in this video is install really almost everything viewable when distant. This is the mod that um, extends the distant level of detail to include all buildings. Even at a distant you'll be able to see all of the ruins, all of the forts, everything. Um, and here are the three files that you need to choose. You need to download this, which is 51 megs, really almost everything be welcome distant. You need to download the SI edition, which is Shivering Isles edition. It'll give you the um, distant level of detail with uh, Shivering Isles too. And then also scroll down, you're also going to download this. We're not going to install it yet because we haven't installed the Carl's Texture Pack, but this is a fix for the Carl's Texture Pack. And we have to install this after we install Carl's Texture Pack. So we're gonna choose that too. Okay, and once you've downloaded and unzipped all of them, you should get three folders that look very similar to this. And we're going to start with just the core, which is the really almost everything viewable when distant. When you open that folder up, you'll see uh, 12 folders with the level of details, uh, some screenshots, and then some readmes. Now remember, always read the readme. Read this whole thing. Um, it's going to take a while, but do it anyway, because then you'll understand what you're installing. So here's what I'm going to do. This is a very modular um, install, which means I can pick and choose anything that I want, but you have to go through each folder and drag the textures into the right place. So I'm going to start with the core. Um, I'm going to copy the meshes and textures right into my Oblivion data folder. See, it's common Oblivion data. And that takes a little while. I'm not going to go through all, you know, 15 of these. I'm just going to show you how uh, the first two work. And then um, I'm also going to show you one that I'm going to skip. I'm going to skip this, the Imperial City plugin, because uh, I have I suspect that this is the one that's been messing up my installs all along. So anyway, you just go all the way down here and pick and choose the ones that you want to add. You know, we definitely are going to add this. This is an ESP file. Uh, and then this Imperial City plugin, I'm going to skip it. Uh, but then there's city architecture. See, I just I'm just going to keep doing that all the way down the line. And it, it just keeps moving. Okay, so and then and then once we finished installing the modules that we wanted to install in there, then you do the same thing with the Shivering Isles edition. See, there's only eight folders in here. So just like before, you just take the meshes and textures. And the way that I'm doing it, actually, I'm right dragging and then I click copy. I should have uh, told you that before. It's better to copy than to move stuff. And see, it does the same thing. Uh, and then we're going to go into the next one and get ready for that. See, and then I'm going to move, I'm actually going to copy this into there. Um, and do the same thing all the way down to the bottom. Now, we're not ready to check out the RAE VWD in Oblivion yet. We still have one more thing to download. We now have to download the Elder Scrolls IV Level of Detail Generator. This is a executable file that's going to actually generate all of the necessary data to make uh, to finish the install. So you download that, and here it is right here. So I'm going to open it up, and it's an executable, like I said. Uh, so remember, um, you just take these two, and then we actually have to drag it into a, the Oblivion folder, not into the data folder. So I'm going to take these and drag them right out here. And there we go. Now remember, read the whole thing. Read this readme text. Um, and once we have um, thrown that in here, now we can press the, now we can install. And it automatically, it's like a one click deal. And then it will generate all of that uh, level of detail uh, files based on the ones that you chose in uh, the core, which is up here. Uh, the RAE VWD and the uh, Shivering Isles edition. So make sure you do that. That takes about anywhere from two to five minutes to finish and it will let you know when it's done. 
And lastly, before we test out um, these modules in the game, we have to click this one and this one, which is the RAE VWD Cities and RAE VWD New Shioth. Uh, you may have also added um, one or two others. Uh, I chose not to add the Imperial City yet because I want to make sure that these work first. So if you remember, this was the vanilla Oblivion install before we started anything. Remember how bland it looks and how blank the city looks down there? So now we're going to switch to the one with really almost everything viewable when distant. Okay, here we are above Coral with really almost everything viewable when distant installed. Um, this is the most intensive area right here, but you can see all the forts and all the ruins, you know, all, way into the distant now. See, even over here, uh, you can even see Kavach up on the hill. Uh, now, right here is the most intensive uh, uh, area, and I'm still getting about 21 frames per second, even in the worst part. Uh, I'd actually get 30 frames a second if I weren't recording. Uh, Freps uh, gives me a frame rate hit of about 8 frames a second. Okay, and the next thing we're going to install is Rye Bash. Um, this works in conjunction with Oblivion Mod Manager, but I kind of hate this thing. Unfortunately, um, I need this to install another mod, which is called All Natural, which is a big weather mod. So, um, you to install it, you just kind of do what it says um, to do, except do not install it to extra locations if you've installed Fallout or something like that. Uh, only install the Oblivion version of Rye Bash, and it says congratulations yeah prerequisites detected if you haven't installed python then you need to install python too and that is outside the scope of this so you can just look on the readme file uh, in rybash if you need to install um, python okay so then we install it it takes just a little while and it's going to install it into its own directory and once it does then you can just run it uh, from uh, probably from your start menu God, this is taking so long. Just do it. This is supposed to be a tiny program. Okay. And, yeah, and then it pulls up a, a big readme. This is actually the whole manual. It's like a, it's got a lot to it. So, um, then we run it. Actually, let me find it first, and then we'll run it. Okay, now I've opened Rybash, and when I did, it did ask me to initialize some data, and I didn't record that step. Um, also, I then switched to the Installers tab. It asks you to initialize even more data, and I skipped that step too in the recording. But anyway, we're here now. This is the mod that I wanted to install. Um, and you can download it in the link that I gave in the description. Uh, once you download it, you do have to uh, bring it into a particular folder. And let me show you which folder that is. You have to throw it into um, Oblivion Mods, Bash Installers, and then you have to throw it into here. Uh, I threw the entire um, 7Z archive. You don't, have to, you don't have to unpack it, and you don't have to uncompress it. You just put it right in here. It says all natural 18305 blah blah blah. And it's in the common, well in my computer at least, it's in uh, you know Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Oblivion Mods, and then Bash Installers. It's not in the Oblivion folder, so that's a little confusing at first. So anyway, now that it's here, we're in the Installers tab. We right click on it and then we click the wizard because it came with the wizard. And it will begin the install. I'm not sure exactly what it's doing here. Let's wait a second. Okay, there we go. Now this is the wizard. So we're going to install full all natural. And then do you want to use all natural shivering aisle support? Yes, we do. Do you want to use additional, additional non vanilla weathers? <laughs> yes. Do you want to use the bash filter patch? Yes. You don't even have to worry about what that is. We're going to use all these different types of weather. Um, I choose the rose red tint and the darker bad weather. Um, this is the fog distance. Um, you can actually, um, um, you can choose how much fog you want in the game. Um, that actually increases performance. Um, 
I think I'm gonna do closer like red bagged fog um yeah I'm gonna do that yeah you know what forget it I'm just gonna leave it at default I'm also gonna choose 50% darker nights I'm gonna leave the default time scale uh, and then that's it uh, leave all this be don't even touch it and then it builds it it extracts it and once it's done then I'll show you one last step okay it's done now there's one last thing we have to do we have to uh, redo the bashed patch and this is a really bizarre and unusual thing that took me several hours to figure out the first time you have to right click on bashed patch which will now be an ESP file um, and then you have to rebuild the patch just like that and then you have to make sure that uh, alias mod names and import cells are checked and then build the patch uh, this is just in case you need to undo this uh, I can't imagine why you would need to undo all natural weather but anyway so then it, it imports cells and then it builds the patch there we go uh, activate the bashed patch uh, yes I think so so it it turns this on and it turns this on uh, the all natural real lights uh, there's also an all natural indoor weather filter um, and I don't know if we're supposed to yeah okay and we do not activate this you see the description it says do not activate it so we're gonna leave that alone now we're gonna go in and see what all natural looks like now that we've installed it and here we are in the game with all natural installed so this installs about 50 to 60 different types of weather and the effect is quite dramatic um, because there's you never know what kind of weather you're going to get and it never seems to be the same weather twice because sometimes they blend multiple types of weather together and that's the cool thing about all natural it's like you don't you never get bored with the weather and it changes about every eight hours I think Okay, that's all for number three, so subscribe to my channel, then you'll get the next one in your inbox, and look for the next one very soon. Thanks for watching.